lasers. Lasers can kind of be grouped with the welding on one aspect, but really we're seeing uh, that we have a lot of laser use in our environments today. And we have them with laser pointers, we have them with laser tape measures, we have them with our laser levels. We got all kinds of lasers out there. And so usually we'll break this out into its own course. The, I wanna cover these key points here in shop safety, which are anything over five milliwatts is basically going to be kind of illegal in your agency um, or require specific special considerations around safety when it comes to using that laser. So if you are working in a science lab and you have some really high powered lasers, some cutting lasers, there's going you, you got to go take the full safety course. In shop safety, we're talking about five, milli, five milliwatts or less of laser power. And generally our laser tape measures, our laser levels are falling well below that. They're usually a half a milliwatt or a milliwatt. Bottom line though is, hey, they're still dangerous. We're seeing that with protests and riots where individuals are getting these lasers, uh, high powered lasers over the five milliwatts and they're shining them in officers' eyes. And again, part of the hazard analysis there is what? We need tinted lens glasses to protect ourselves against this. So same thing for you guys. Anytime you're using lasers, uh, especially in a construction area or around the shop where people are walking through the shop, you need to put up your warning signs. You need to also make sure that you have your tinted glasses on so that you're not getting that reflected light bouncing into your eyes. Remember, lasers will bounce off things and still carry that same level of power around. So that's the big key there. Don't be shining them on your skin, don't shine them into your eyes, and make sure that any guards or other safety devices around your laser are in working order. So one thing that should happen uh, with the lasers is when you release the button, the laser should turn off, right? Our laser levels are different because they are providing a continuous, you know, identifier around the room, but our tape measure, our laser pointers, they should stop, right? If you're not using the laser, if you're walking away from the laser, you need to cap it, cover it, turn it off, put it out of the way so that it accidentally doesn't turn on and injure somebody's eyes. That's really the bottom line for our lasers. If you are using higher than five milliwatts, then take our laser safety course.